odds are you've worked with structured content in the past. Seriously, you know those colorful Lego blocks you've used to build spaceships, cars, or dinosaurs? Jam them together any way you want, and you create content. Assembled to a plan, it's structured content. The same idea applies to business documents. Let's explore the fun side of content. Lego. Imagine having a pile of it in front of you. Like a jumble of letters or words, it has no value. Content, but without recognizable patterns. It's simply not useful. We need patterns to make things usable. We sort things. We may use color as a quick fix, but there are better ways to sort content than by visual appearance. Most kids don't ask for a red block. In the Lego movie, we hear requests for a 1x2 keyhole or a 2x2 macaroni or even a cheese slope. That's adding context and descriptive information to help users. That descriptive information is more than just the color. Now you can sort by shape, size, or by other properties that describe the content and its functional fit. That information about the content is metadata. We can find what we need because of the detailed descriptions. Ask for green or yellow bricks that are at least three plates high. Once you have a 2x4 green brick or four of the 1x2 yellow bricks, you can combine the basic blocks of content into something that delivers a clear message. It's structured and the content is delivered as a dinosaur. A more formal approach combines specialized blocks with a set of clear instructions. You create a specific deliverable. You use a template to create structured content. The right content assembled following the right instructions means repeatable patterns. You can create just one dinosaur or use the same pattern and create hundreds. This well-organized collection helps you use available content and then structure it for the specific type of output required. The simplest pattern can also be refined over time to create a more complex and more complete deliverable. Let's expand on these ideas and discuss corporate content. Well-structured content benefits your organization. For example, you might create proposals. These contain blocks of core information your company needs to successfully operate. A proposal could be a single page with a prescribed order for the title, a short opening statement, and a section or two with a title and a mix of a few paragraphs or lists. The structure for this is implied, but it can also be formalized. A more complex proposal might contain additional sections, paragraphs, lists with bullets, images, and tables. See a pattern emerging? However, there is always some risk with unstructured content. People may forget to add the scope of work, the deliverables, or other required components. The value of structured content is broad. With a structured document, we have rules. Content is organized by type and purpose. It follows rules for order and frequency. This proposal contains a formal scope of work block. There is a deliverables block. We also have blocks for schedule, expenses, next steps, and a signature area. These can be enforced as structural components, ensuring no proposal is ever sent without required content. Once we know the context, for example, a title is placed at the start of the content, structured content inherits properties. These can be things like color, font, and size. Until then, it's just a title. Structure it within a schedule, and it's a smaller heading. In a figure, the title is dynamically numbered. In a nutshell, structured content uses repeatable patterns that communicate information's intent. We understand the message from its hierarchy. Structured content is not a technology. It's not a style guide. It's a way to organize information into elements or blocks. This structure means it's easier for readers, writers, editors, reviewers, translators, or anyone inside or outside your business to work with. Common structured patterns make it easier to create and understand content. Structure defines and enforces consistent organization. Behind the scenes, it might be XML and machine-readable. The tags and markup provide a complete structure. Authors see a more visual document, but also the underlying markup. And the reader of the content? That person finds exactly what they need, every time.
Structuring content effectively also makes formatting easier. The appearance can change by applying a specific template. Imagine it, updating the entire look and feel of content in seconds. Structure is tool agnostic. You can work where and how you want. Need to edit in a browser-enabled tool? Go for it. Structure also enables better multi-channel publishing. Going to a mobile platform and not sure if people will view your content on a phone, a tablet, or a laptop? Need a PDF? No problem. We've got you covered. Structured content is more than organized, readable, and publishable. It's reusable, scalable, lends itself to metrics collection, and can reduce localization and translation costs. Structured content is about the future of communications. Thank you.